I got one thing to say. $282. 100 plus Wii games. And there's a huge bolo in there. Stay tuned to find out just what's inside of this box. So we're at my storage unit today and I'm just really happy to show you guys how much cleaner it looks. I share this storage unit with my girlfriend Emma and if you guys have seen it in my previous videos, it's been pretty, pretty messy, but thankfully we've been selling on whatnot. So we've been clearing out a lot of inventory for great prices. So we're just basically moving a ton of inventory and people are getting absolute steals. And I'm gonna be selling a lot of these video games too. So make sure you guys are subscribing to my channel and I'll let you guys know when I'm gonna be posting on whatnot. And if you guys didn't know on my whatnot auctions, I'm actually giving a ton of stuff away. I always give away video games clothing and even in my first auction I literally gave away one of these hundred dollar Pokemon figures I sell them anywhere between like 70 to 100 bucks so it's pretty crazy that I give stuff away I just love being able to give back to the people that buy for me it's crazy because little things like that can just make people's day and like I just really enjoy doing that even though I personally don't even have a lot you know to give it's the little things that really matter it makes me feel like I'm doing a lot even though I'm really not anyways we have a ton of video games to go through like I said $282 pick this up on an online version of an offer up deal and I got it shipped directly to my house. This deal happened around 12:30 at night. I was laying down in bed. I just decided to go on offer up for a few seconds. I was like, you know what? Let me just check and see if there's something there. There was a deal that was up there for an hour. A guy had these 300 games listed for around $275. So I shot him an offer of $250, but there was fees and shipping that I needed to pay since it was the online version. Ended up paying $282 in total. And this is what I got. So first up we have the Simpsons game. Unfortunately, it is not the original case it's disc only then we have Lego Batman 2 paper Mario this is a solid pickup right there then we have Scarface I'm pretty sure this game right now is pushing like $50 on Amazon right now what's this the world is your Scarface PC so I guess this is the PC version I'm not sure how much that's worth Tony Hawk Shred Big Air. Unfortunately, this game case is like not really in the best of shape. Then we have Michael Jackson, The Experience. I should really be checking the condition of the discs on some of these, making sure they're good. This is like a $15 game. I mean, there's light scratches on here, nothing crazy. Oh, the best game in the whole entire planet. Cardio Workout, man, I'm so excited to play this. <gasps> Just kidding. What is this? I love you, Beth Cooper. I love you, Beth Cooper. I guess it's like a DVD or something. They probably just didn't want it anymore. Mario! It's a me, a Mario! Mario Kart! A me! Mario! Once again, no manual, but Mario Kart is in here, so that game pushes like 20 to 25 bucks. Cabela's Big Game Hunter, We Fit Plus, We Play, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games, pretty solid. Some of these games feel like empty without the manuals, it's kind of crazy. Postal Panda, New Super Mario Bros, Wii Sports, these games push about 20 bucks each. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we have a bolo for you. Comment down below what you think the bolo is. I actually showed it for a quick second in the beginning of the video, so let me know if you think you know what it is. Drum roll, please. Here we go. This is the bolo, Arc Rise Fantasia. Unfortunately, there is no manual inside. It is disc only, but Arc Rise Fantasia pushes like 70 to $80. And on Amazon, I might even be able to get more because there's absolutely none listed. So I'll be able to kind of create my own market for it. So if you guys didn't know, I actually collect Wii games. I have a pretty decent collection, like nothing too crazy. I just kept like popular titles. I gotta be honest though, I'm a college student. Like I don't have much money. Like I didn't grow up with a lot of money. So like it's really hard for me right now to like determine what I want to collect versus what I don't want to collect so it's like even though a game like this seems like really cool like I don't even want to try and play it because then I might I might like it and not want to get rid of it and like for being honest like 80 to 100 bucks is a lot of money for me to get for a video game so I just can't hold on to it but you, may, 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 maybe I'll try it maybe I'll try it I don't know just so just keeping in mind I spent 285 bucks on this whole entire deal and we're probably already at like $200 back and we still have like 60 plus games to go we have the Dog Island, Balls of Fury the movie. I feel like I watched this movie and I feel like it was pretty stupid. Disney Epic Mickey, We Play, Disney Sing It, Just Dance, The Cruise Prehistoric Party. I'm pretty sure this game is a bolo on the Wii U, but not on the Wii. Then we have iCarly. I'm pretty sure there's a new iCarly like coming out right now. I've been seeing like commercials about it. We have DJ Hero, another copy of Super Mario Bros. Once again, without the manual. All right, I'm gonna put this box on the ground because these games are already starting to fall over. Then we have 
Guitar Hero Aerosmith. Another copy of New Super Mario Bros. Next up, we have Cabela's Dangerous Hunt. A sealed Kawasaki. Wait, this is... Wait, why are these games sealed? Hold on, hold on. These must have just been in the listing and I had no idea they were sealed. So we're going to go ahead and we're actually going to go and search this up on Amazon right now. Even though this may seem like shovelware if it was in used condition, in brand new sealed condition, this could push a lot of money. I love the mystery in opening these boxes because you just never know what you're going to find. In new condition, this Wii game's only going going for $13, nothing crazy. Um, I thought it might push more. And then this Kawasaki quad bikes game is selling for $10 and 93 cents in new condition. So, I mean, it's, I thought it was going to be better. Like I, you never know what to expect, but it's just really interesting to see like brand new sealed games. You don't really find these anymore. Then we have wiped out another copy of we play heat seeker. I've never seen this game before. We have Rudolph. This one's sealed too. Wow. Now it's making me wonder how many games in here are sealed. They're probably going to be all like shovelware though. Let's go ahead and look this one up too. Why is this one not coming up on Amazon? Is there not a listing on it? All right, let's just check on eBay. Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. This game's only pushing like eight bucks, but still it's pretty interesting to see because if this was used, you guys already know it probably would only sell for like two, three bucks. Moving on, we have another Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. Cabela's Big Game Hunter. Another copy of Mario Kart. Wow, this one's in terrible condition. Someone literally wrote on the disc too. Like, Come on now. And then we have Puppy Love. Uh, big Beach Sports, Cars 2. This is not relevant to video games, but if you guys didn't know this, Cars on the VHS is actually selling for like $500 to $1,000. Apparently, you needed to have like some type of Disney subscription in order to find that VHS. So if you guys are ever on the lookout for VHSs and you happen to see Cars, definitely pick it up because it's worth a lot of money. And then we have Classic British Motor Racing. I've never heard of this game either. Moving on, we have Kobe Bryant right here, two, NBA 2K10. Another copy of We Play, another copy of we play we have active carnival games another copy of we play two sealed copies of whatever this boogie game is that's interesting to see okay donkey kong returns disney infinity on the wii u high school musical baja 1000 call of duty 3 jillian michaels animal crossing city folk that's a pretty decent game just dance 3 eminem raymond raven rabbits another copy of we play geez another copy of we play this is just getting out of hand raymond rabbits kawasaki jet Ski. Another we play. Okay, this is look. This is ridiculous. Another Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. Spider Man. Super Mario Galaxy. My Sims Kingdom. Nerf. Tiger Woods PGA 08. I'm pretty sure Tiger Woods PGA 12 is worth a lot of money on the Wii. Dance Dance Revolution. Sonic and the Secret Rings. Paintball Championship game. I've never seen anything like this. Another Eminem Racing. Zelda. This is a good game. The House of the Dead 2 and 3. World Party Game. Rock Band 3. A Fitness Coat. We play. Guitar Hero. Legends of Rock, MT Game Case, I guess. Disney Sing It. Then we have Lego Batman, Transformers The Game, another Wii Play. So we have a Guitar Hero 3 on the Wii. We Play Motion, Wii Sports Resort, Spider Man 3 on the Wii, Marvel Super Hero Squad on the Wii U. We've got Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Another copy of Mario Kart? That's good to see. Fishing Frenzy. Pretty sure one of these fishing, a fishing resort pushes a lot of money. Another copy of Wii Play, Just Dance, Madagascar Karts, Indiana Jones. Big Game Hunter, Zuma Fitness, Birthday Party Bash, and that's all the games for you guys right there. This is the aftermath of all of the games. So before we go ahead and add up the tally of how much all the games are worth, would you guys have picked this deal up for $285? Let me know in the comments down below. So I gotta say, something is kind of throwing me off with these games right here. So even though they appear to be sealed, there's like a blue watermarks on here. I've never seen Wii seals with like blue on them before. It kind of sketches me out. I'm not 100% sure if they're actually sealed or not. You guys want to see some sold comps? First item that we have going out today is in this bin right here. Here we go. It's this NASA beanie. Paid $4, I think, on clearance. Actually, I think I still have a sticker on this with the price. I just need to take it off when I ship it out. Paid $4 on this at Marshall's on clearance, and I sold it for $11.60. I think my GoPro just died, so we're going to film the rest of this on my phone. So next item that I have going out reminds me of summer, and I'm really happy that this sold because it didn't sell last year. I think this is a youth wetsuit, and it sold for $20 plus shipping on top. Next up, we have two of these Lego swords going out to two different people for $10.80 plus shipping on top. 
Oh shoot, pay two dollars on each of these. Next item is this first hat right here. Pick this up at the Goodwill bins for probably around a quarter. It says Time Machine 2018. Okay, let me get the hat out. It says Time Machine 2018. It's actually Nike and it is brand new with tags. So pretty decent profit on this hat right here. And we have another hat that I picked up not too long ago. Picked it up at Marshalls as well on clearance. It's a NFL hat. It says 020220. It's from one of the Super Bowls and it sold for $13.60. I usually have around three to four dollars into these hats that I pick up on clearance. So I took off the tag already, but like I said, I think I have three to four bucks into this. Man, I freaking love these things. They add so much light to the storage unit and they're magnetic too. Epic fail. So after doing some further inspection, I do not think any of these sealed games are actually sealed. That just doesn't seem legit to me. That blue line, the lining, and it feels like a very, very firm, like tight seal. Like it, it just feels like a reseal. So I won't be selling any of these as new. So like I said, I have $282 into all of these games and I cannot add up everything off of the top of my head. If you're wondering what these heels are, my girlfriend sold these for 22 bucks plus shipping. They're Tory Birches, and she asked me to pick them up for her. But anyways, all these games right here paid $282 and I don't know how much I'll be able to make on all of them, but I will throw up the net potential estimated profit onto the screen right now. It's just so much work for me to go through everything right now. It's gonna take like hours on hours of me figuring out and calculating prices because some of these games will go on eBay, some will go on whatnot, some will go on Amazon FBA. Depends if they have a manual, no manual. There's a lot of factors that go into games. I'm super stoked with this deal. I think it was a great deal for 282 bucks. So I just wanted to show you guys my storage unit again. My side is the right-hand side of the unit. My girlfriend, Emma, that's her side on the left-hand side. So my side is looking pretty, pretty nice. Her side is too, honestly. I do have these like bags bags and bread maker. I still have that bread maker. I haven't listed that thing for like eight months. You guys need to be on me about this. Like go ahead, like start DMing me. Be like, have you listed that bread maker, man? But yeah, have that. I probably paid like four or five bucks on it. And that's worth a lot of money, like maybe 60 to hundred bucks. I just, I don't want to list it. I don't want to list it. I, I know it turns on and powers on. I just, I don't know why. I just don't want to list it. So yeah, I have really nice wire shelving on this side of the unit. Everything looks really, really nice and clean and tidy besides that bag. And then the left-hand side of the unit, this is how it's looking like. We have these storage containers right there um an extra two storage containers right in there and then we have some more bubble wrap up in the corner but i really need wire shelving this is something that i definitely need to do on this side i definitely need to go to lowe's soon buy myself another wire shelving you know it's just kind of hard because i literally just spent like five thousand dollars on taxes last week so it's like hard so even though i do have some money for reselling it's like hard it, it's really i'm not gonna lie it's not an easy job but the thing is no job in life is really easy it's just whether you enjoy doing it or not and like reselling i really really enjoy doing it. I love being able to find things at the same time for myself, whether it be video games, vintage clothing pieces. You know, I'm a stickler for Polo Ralph Lauren. Oh my God, I just saw this thing dangling in my storage unit and I totally freaked out. I thought it was a huge freaking spider.